Hello and welcome. My name is Andrew Grant and in this video we're going to have a quick look at how you do code folding in Microsoft Visual Studio 2017. Now code folding is where you collapse parts of your code, the source code that you can see. It's still there but it's neatly folded away, it's tucked away. It's really really handy when you've got huge files or even little files and you've done some and you need it to get it out of the way you know it works so here we've got a little object a little class it's not very many lines where is it 40 lines it's not a lot but still we know that these like let's say these constructors and the destructor work so we want to fold them and it's fairly straightforward all you have to do is the hash symbol on a new line above where you want it to be the hash symbol and then the word pragma which is p r a g m a space region r e g i o n and then give it a name so in this case we'll call it cetos and detos and then we just take the cursor down that's that bit done we we'll take the cursor down below where we want to uh, end the region and we just do again the hash symbol no space and just write out pragma oops pragma there we go and then space and then end region e n d r e g i o n no space one word end region one word and then you can if you want put the name there it makes it appear you'll see what I mean and that's it now as you can see let's see if we can just expand that um, here we are let's see if we can expand it there just here we've got a little uh, square with a minus sign and you click it and you've got a little square with a plus sign and there's your fold if you hover over it you can see what's underneath and there's the title here's the title and there's the title if you want to get rid of that bit just remove that and then when you close it up it's gone that's all there is to it now that's all very well and good hang on let me put this back to uh, 100 percent but we've got the constructors and the destructors together what if we want to separate off say the constructors and the destructors where well, you can nest the folding so all you have to do again the hash and then pragma not prog pragma and region and we'll say that's CTORS and we'll take the cursor down and oh right there so we'll do pragma keep getting that wrong pragma end region well I'm gonna put CTOS because that's the way I like it to be if you don't want it there don't bother just don't and as you can see let me just move it up again see we've now got that so if we fold that there we go and then we fold that and it's all collapsed so if when we move it it's still collapsed okay right you can also use it let me just put a line there you can also do it like this now I've written a quick snippet which will do this it's on github let me just find github there we are github and it is here I'll put the URL in the description below but that's it there that's it just that that's all there is to it so we'll get rid of that so and all you have to do is highlight where you want it to be right click drop down to snippet and then surround with control K and control S will do the same thing you do that and then it's in my code snippets and fold code double click that and there you go it's got the fold name so 
we'll just make that as detours there we go and now we've got a folding that's it nested nice and nested and if you want to go into somewhere you just go in not a problem if you don't however if you don't want to do that and you want to start with the region before you start coding again same principle just write pragma region we'll call this test area call it whatever you want write your code uh, all code goes here and then pragma end region test area and that's it and then you've got the little um, let me show you again you've got the little thing there nope there there See? test area you need the end region so that it knows where to be otherwise it just won't work but that is it ladies and gentlemen thank you very much and have a great day